So Reg's limited clothing firm determines that in order to sell X units, X suits, the price per suit must be, so this is the price per suit, 150 minus 0.5x. So x, number of suits. And p is the price per suit. Price per suit. OK. It also determines that the total cost, total cost, uh, of producing x, x suits is given by the function c of x, 4,000 plus 0.25x squared. Find the total revenue, part A, total revenue. How do I determine the total revenue? So the total revenue is a function of x, right? It equals price times number of units sold. So obviously the number of units sold is x, and the price is our given p. So then from here, revenue, total revenue will be price 150 minus 0.5x multiplied by x, price times the number of units. I distribute, arrange it in the correct order, so I get the revenue. In part B, any questions so far, please? Anything? Anyone? Okay, part B, find a total profit. Who would like to tell us how to determine the total profit? What is the formula for the total profit? Brilliant, thank you, Rita. So, revenue of x minus cost of x. Very good. So, that will be the revenue, negative 0.5x squared plus 150x. There is a minus in front of the cost function. Everything in the cost gets a negative in front of it. Negative 0.25x squared and minus 4,000. Any questions so far? We combine like terms. Negative 0.5 or negative 0.25 is negative 0.75x squared. The next in line is positive 150x and, of course, negative 4,000. What type of function is this? Can anyone tell us what type of function is this other than Rita? Anyone else? Thank you very much. Lake, great. Good. In part C, how many suits... Um, must the company produce and sell in order to maximize profit? So in other words, find max profit. And x for that max. What do I need to determine to find in order to find the maximum of a function? Max or min, but in this case, max. Thank you very much. Very good. So P, who was that, Michelle? Yeah. Thank you. So P prime, we bring 2 in front, so I get negative 1.5, 75 times 2, right? Uh, X, of course, and plus 150. I found the derivative, that's our first step. Can anyone other than Rita and Michelle and Lake tell us what is the next step? What do I need to do next? Very good, Jackson, thank you. So P prime of X equals zero. So negative 1.5X plus 150 equals zero. Can anyone identify this equation for us? Right, but what type of equation is this? So this one was quadratic function. But what type of equation is this? The simplest possible one that you learned in first grade, school? Anyone? Very good. This is an linear equation. So we move 150, and we divide by 1.5.
So imagine that you have to multiply the top and the bottom by 10, so you can, this will be a 1500 divided by 15, so x equals 100 units, or suits. This means nothing. So we have to, we must, show y. We must show that x equals 100 gives a max profit. We have to show why. And remember how we show. Anyone remembers how we show that that gives a max or a min? And the answer is with a table. So here's 100, here's 0, here's 100, here is p prime of x, here is 0, this will be p of x, and I will determine this value in a minute. I will plug it in. So this will be, this will equal p of 100. And I have to study the sign left and right. If, this is the, if the sign is appropriate for a maximum, I will say a maximum. If the sign is appropriate for a minimum, I will say oops. So here's the derivative. Let's plug in a number to the left of 100. Let's plug in 0. What is the sign of this expression with x equals 0? Thank you very much. And if you plug in 1,000, remember you move the decimal point three spots. This will be negative 15, negative 1,500 plus 150. What is the sign here? Yes. There is no need to do that because we know that this is a linear function with a negative slope. It comes from positive values, crosses the x-axis, and goes to negative. But that's fine. To plug in, it's okay too. Good. So this is—is is this typical for a maximum or not? Positive slope for the yes. derivative, yes. Negative slope for the derivatives. This is typical for a maximum. So this must be the maximum. And now I'm asked to find the maximum. I go back to the function. Here is the profit. And I will plug in 100 to get the answer. So this will be negative 0.75 times 100 squared plus 150 times 100 and minus 4,000. And I'm using my calculator. Uh, negative 0.75 times 100 squared and then plus 150 times 100 and minus 4,000. So negative 0.75, that's correct, 100, 150, yes, minus 100, that's it. So the answer is 3,500. So 3,500. Um, part D, what is the maximum profit? This is already part D. Uh, what price per suit must be charged in order to maximize profit? So that's part E. Charge 100 per unit to maximize profit. There is a big analysis here, of course, if the market is okay with 100 because otherwise we're just going to produce it, put it on the shelf, and that's not profit. It will not turn into profit. Any questions about maximizing, minimizing? We can determine something else. Just to, let's look at another problem. Uh, are we interested in uh, volume? Problem 18, maximizing volume, or maximizing area, problem 16. Any preference? What page are we on? Uh, we are on page 255. Surface area, uh, 
Okay, let's look at 16. 